Nikos. And this community as a whole who are the missing three characters in this video i'm gonna go over the possibilities of who the missing three characters could be why i think they have a strong chance of making it in the game and why i think it fits but if you haven't already liked the video please do me a favor and like the video youtube has this algorithm thing where if the video can't really get out to people if it's not being liked so if you can just throw a like on here that'd be really awesome man even two likes three likes they go a long way okay so straight into the video i think the obvious choice is moon knight moon knight is a character that is already coming to the silver screen people be familiar with him and want to see more of him by the time this game is released i think moon knight fits perfect because moon knight is actually a member of the original midnight suns so putting them in the game just seems to me like a slam dunk. It just seems to me like something that just has to happen. And previously I made a video where I speculated a lot of characters I wanted to uh, be a part of this game. But with all the Moon Knight hype and the game going to be released after Moon Knight, it makes perfect sense that Moon Knight is featured in this game. And you know who else is being released after? Morbius. Morbius is also another original founding member of the Midnight Suns. His movie is coming out in April. The game has no release date window yet. So that means Moon Knight and Morbius both will be out in the world and people of Marvel understanding or even people that are new to the Marvel Universe will be can develop interest in these characters and this game could give flush them out more, make their products a little bit more interesting, make their IPs a little bit more interesting. I think it'll be fantastic in order to bring a more situational awareness to those characters using this game as a platform to project them to a different height. I think that is exactly what they're trying to go for with a lot of these characters. Look at the cast. Magic. You got Nico. You got Blade. You got people they're trying to reinstall into people's memory bases. I mean, nothing with Marvel is done without a plan. Even their games have some form of a plan. And I think the Midnight Suns is launching off the Midnight Suns brand. So when you start having Midnight Suns show up in the MCU, why not nourish that in this game? Now, the person I think that is going to come in is going to be a complete left field. This is my, this is my left field choice. I know some of you people might think this is a little crazy, but just hear me out here. Kip Harris the black knight i might have said his last name wrong but the black knight would be perfect for this game the black knight will fit so much with this cast of characters he is a mythical fighting character he's teamed with blade before i believe he's also been a part of the midnight suns he's been in the avengers he's someone they have built up going forward in the mcu as being a major player but they're working him in with an origin story through across different products. So it's looking like the Black Knight's going to show up in Blade. Uh, Moon Knight's probably going to show up in Blade. I wouldn't even be surprised if Morbius showed up in Blade. But we know Black Knight is definitely going to be there from their, their character uh, interactions at the end of Eternals. So why not put Black Knight in this game? Now, it seems far-fetched. I know a lot of you guys are like, Black Knight? There's other people. I mean, yeah, there's Brother Voodoo. Uh, there's so many other great characters that they can put in this role. But I think the Black Knight is perfect. Not only does he fit the, X, the, the XCOM kind of like combat style, he's a character that's deep in the mythos of mythology in the uh, Marvel Universe. I mean, the only person I can think of they're doing is Conan, but Conan, his character is like in just stuck in publishing hell. So Conan, we might never, ever get Conan in the MCU, unfortunately. He's amazing. Marvel's version of Conan is amazing. I don't think we'll ever get him. So Black Knight is another really, really good character that they wanted to put in the forefront. And I think that's a solid choice. I think this is a solid decision. I would love to see Black Knight next to... Uh, Robbie Reyes. That'd be sick, bro. Black Knight is actually pretty cool. 
So th that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts on the missing three characters from Marvel Midnight Suns. I would love to see these these things come true. I'm be completely honest with you. I would love to see these things come true. And but I, you know we all gotta wait. We'll see it pretty soon. But let me know if you think that I was close to the mark. If I missed the mark, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And let me know how hype you are to see this game coming forward. I'm super hype, and I hope you're super hype. And hopefully we can all come together and uh, check this game out in the future. And can't wait to play it. And can't wait to.